Hi everybody, welcome to Tony's Brick House. In this video, I've got what may be my last Brickmania haul. Now, I'll get more into that after what a show I've got. If anybody cares, stick around. So, let's see what I got. And no, all this didn't come in this one box. So, the first item I have is one I'd actually wanted for a while. They had a restock of it. I got it real quick. This is one they've discontinued. Uh, they've redesigned it for 2020. So, got this. I am glad I got it. I would wanted the M4 Sherman. So, this is their kit number 2184. Comes with one minifig. Uh, here's what the back looks like, and you can kind of see me in the plastic. Oh, kind of upside down. So, yeah, I do like this tank. Looking forward to building it. Really, I wanted to get my hands on the Oddball add-on pack. Didn't manage to happen. Uh, sold out kind of quick, and... Uh, then they said they wasn't going to restock it anymore, so kind of bummed about that. But, oh well. There's still the secondary markets I check every so often to see. Uh, the second item I did pick up, the 2020 monthly calendar. Now, I did pick up uh, the 2019 monthly calendar. Actually, I got two or three of those. And what I've got planned with one of those is at some point in time I'm actually going to take it apart that's the reason I got more than one and I'm going to frame some of these pictures I like and put them up in my Lego room so that's the idea of that these are always pretty cool uh, the last item I got is the Battle of the Bulge building instructions for World War II models made from Lego bricks so I do have quite a few of the books. This was the last one at this point that I was interested in. So this probably brings my total, I want to say I probably have four or five, six of their books, something like that. I prefer these ones that are, I don't, I don't Spiral bound, I think the others are called perfect bound or something like that. I prefer these because you can lay them flat, you can fold it over and <laughs> see what you're building or, you know, see the instructions better. So that is my haul. Uh, not a very big one, but stuff I'm happy to have. So now I'm, I'm moving past the haul and I'm kind of getting on to the part about possibly my last Brickmania haul. So the thing about Brickmania, they're a company, you know, it's a premium company. They make a nice product, especially now that they're actually getting, you know, licenses to build a lot of these things. The prices are going up and they've discontinued their elite membership that isn't available for 2020. I had always used the Elite membership along with like the Mad Minute sales and the clearance items. That's how I bought most of the stuff from Brickmania, unless it was something I really wanted. Now that the Elite's gone, I'm probably not going to be able to buy very much from the future. I'm still going to look at like eBay, you know, the secondary markets, and see some of the stuff I missed I really want. There's a couple sets I would really like to have from Brickmania, but there's no way with the price of those sets I'm going to be able to get them. And, you know, again, I, I totally understand that they're in business to make money. They're not in business to, you know, sell me cheap sets to review. You know, they're, they no way, you know, sponsor this. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just really like their products. So I have since well this is like uh, february the 11th i believe it is you know so far this year i've looked at their website a couple of times i've looked at you know the stuff they have on clearance 
haven't bought anything. Um, did unsubscribe to their emails. And I have to say, dealing with Brick Mania, they had always been really good. Anytime I'd contacted them, you know, fast reply, real friendly and helpful. So the last two times that I contacted them about questions, you know, it, it did take a while to get an answer, and I really felt like the answers were kind of short. And I mean, I know I met Dan Siskin at a Lego convention, and you know, he explained to me that there's a lot of different people that do their social media and their YouTube. So, you know, could have been anybody I was talking to, could have been a bad day or whatever, but, you know, it, it, it did kind of bug me. And I'm not on here, you know, just to bash them. I'm just saying, you know, the experience I had. When I met Dan, he was a great guy, really friendly, really helpful. He signed the book for me. I think he signed the, yeah, I'm pretty sure he signed the uh, kit I bought too. You know, was happy to do it. You know, talked to me for a good while, was very friendly. The other person with him, actually all the people I'll say that I've met at uh, probably three different conventions now have always been as friendly and as nice and as helpful as they can be. Just at this point, you know, I'm just going to have to step back and it, it's going to be a good while before I buy anything else from them if I buy anything else from them. So if you stuck around this long, I appreciate you listening to me. You know, and again, don't take this as me bashing their company. You know, they have a job to do just like I have a job to do. And they've got to do what makes sense to them. And, you know, if something sells good, they're going to restock it. If something sells, you know, doesn't sell good, they're not going to restock it. You know, I, I kind of understand that. So, anyway, I still like their product. I've, I've got quite a few other kits. Maybe someday I'll put, you know, a bunch of them together and, you know, show you guys my Brickmania shelf. Probably need to do that sometime soon. But, yeah, like I said, still on the lookout for a couple. I still check in to their website every so often, maybe once a month, something like that, just to see what's going on in their sales. But, you know, again, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I do another video. And I hope everybody has a great day.